New on Daybreak, a look at the changes inside a kindergarten classroom. The pandemic has forced teachers to create a new model. News 8's Katie Wisely went to Lebanon schools. The elementary school classes start today there, Katie? Good morning, Scott. They do. 9% of the district's 3,300 students will be taking part in remote learning. Now, for parents who are sending their children back to the classroom today, there are new guidelines and procedures to keep your child safe. Through the doors of Perry Worth Elementary, the hallways are still dark. We're all in this together. There are going to be some changes in how we do school. I mean, luckily, they're kindergartners, so they don't know any different. It's Mrs. Taylor's 22nd year in the classroom. Her list is full and the door is open, ready for students. When a kindergartner runs up to want to hug you, um, now you have to kind of think twice about that. A new set of rules has teachers taking more time to prepare. The entire thing is going to be harder for teaching. We're going to be policing more. Desks are three feet apart. Students are all faced the same way. No floor learning, high fives, or even hugging. And of course, masks are required. Kindergartners, they use their hands a lot. They have their hands on their face. Um, they'll need a break just like teachers will need a break. There are scheduled bathroom breaks, time to fill up water bottles, and at recess, students can only play with their classmates. But Jocelyn Taylor says it's better than working behind a computer screen. They need hands-on. They need um, fine motor skills. They need social interaction with kids. They need, you know, that social emotional learning. The school district has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on new technology, plexiglass dividers, and new air filtration to help reduce virus particles. Everything that we can do to share what this might look like to our families ahead of time um, has has hopefully provided them with some peace as they head into this school year too. As time inches closer, desks are labeled, cubbies are clean, and Mrs. Taylor hoping the lights will stay on. For parents wondering, masks can come off if students are working independently at their desks, but when moving around, it's required to stay on. Students in grades 6 through 12 are in person two days a week and virtual three days a week. The district says this makes about 50% of students in the building at one time. Katie Wisely, WishTV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.